welcome to our blending board on this Wednesday. We're going to start by looking at a new skill. You were introduced to it yesterday if you did your reader's notebook work pages. It's all about using apostrophes to show possession. Possession means something owns something else. Okay, and we're also going to be careful to notice how many people or birds or cats are doing the owning of something. Okay, so pay attention and we'll try to figure this out together and then blend. Here we go. So the boy owns the dog. If we're going to say the boy owns the dog, we say it this way. It is the boy's dog. It belongs to the boy and we show it like this with an apostrophe. Now, if we do it this way with the apostrophe after the S, that means that there's more than one boy and they own the dog. So maybe this is two boys who are brothers and it's their dog. Just moving the apostrophe changes that. Okay, what about the bird? And he has a wing. He owns the wing. It's his wing. It's stuck to his body. If you're talking about one wing, it's the bird's wing. It belongs to the bird. Okay, here's my funny looking bird. Here's the bird's wing. This one. Now, if I change it and move the apostrophe to the other side of the S, the bird's wings, like this one. Now, it's like saying there are more than one bird, and they we're talking about both of these birds' wings. So maybe we're going to say that these birds' wings are blue. The bird's wings are blue. All right, so far so good. Last one. Cat. The cat has paws. The cat's paws These are his paws. They belong to the cat, and so we use an apostrophe S. The cat's paws. And just like with the bird example, if we move the apostrophe to the other side of the S, like this, the cat's paws, it means we have more than one cat. Whoops, I forgot their tails. There we go. The cat's paws. All right, let's go ahead and blend some words with apostrophes to show possession, things owning other things. Here we go. Line one, first word, b, boy, boy, s, boys, boys. That is the boy's toy. Ch, i, ch, old, chilled, r, e, n, children's, children's. That is the children's toy. Sn, a, snake, snake. Snakes, snakes. St, oo, stew, d, e, n, t, s, students, students. Sp, e, speak, speak, er, speaker, s. Speakers. Okay, read each word in the row. Ready? Boys. 
Children's. Snakes. Students. Speakers. Nice work. Row two. M, a, m, l, m, l, er, mothers, mothers. P, a, pa, s, paws, paws. Bull, u, blue, m, bloom, bloom. E, he, n, s, hens, hens. Tur, u, true, true. Read each word. Mothers, paws, bloom, hens, true. Great work. Line three. M. Or more n morn in mornings mornings p a pa o paul s pauls pauls n o no t note Book, notebook, notebook. St, ah, stock, stock, stock. Cur, oo, crew, s, cruise, cruise. Read each word. Mornings, Pauls. Notebook, stock, cruise. Awesome. I'll read the sentence, then pause so you can read the sentence. Father called and asked me to fill the cat's water bowls. I lost the dog's leash, so I needed to buy a new one. Awesome job! Now, we've practiced all of these words that have an apostrophe to show that someone or something owns something. We also talked about how it can be one or more, like more than one bird, more than one boy owning something. Next, you are going to read this decodable, one or more. You'll practice words just like the ones we just practiced. Don't forget to record your reading and upload it to Class Dojo. We love hearing you read. Nice job!